Hello and welcome to the BizHub Marketplace Chameleon Quick Start video. In this segment, we'll be showing you how to use the new Custom Panel Designer tool to create customized user interface screens for your MFP. Please note that this video covers the basic functionality of the Custom Panel Designer. For more detailed information, please consult the user documentation. To get started, the first thing you need to do is go to the BizHub Marketplace website and log in with the email address and password you use to set up your BizHub Marketplace account. Don't have one yet? Don't worry about it. It's free. Just click on the Create Account link on the left-hand side of the page and you're on your way to creating an account. And, as you can see, once you log in, you will see new options on the right-hand side of the screen. These are the new BizHub Marketplace Chameleon features that allow you to create customized user interfaces for your MFP and manage the apps on your MFPs from one centralized location. For the purpose of this video, we will concentrate on how to use the Custom Panel Designer online tool, which can be accessed by clicking on the Custom Panels option. From the Custom Panels homepage, you can do the following. View custom user interfaces that have already been created. Next to each custom panel, you'll see the date that it was created, as well as icons that allow you to install, edit, or delete these panels. Create a new custom user interface by clicking on the Add New button. Now let me show you how easy it is to create a custom interface for your MFP using this tool. Do the following. 1. Click on the Add New button. 2. On the Create New Custom Panel window, enter a name for your customized user interface. Then select the OK button. 3. You will be presented with a new window that allows you to choose what kind of MFP screen you want to create. Print, scan, box, or a launcher screen. There are templates for each of these screens that you can customize, or you can begin with a blank screen. For the purposes of this demo, we will choose to create a copy screen first, using a blank screen as a starting point. 4. In the Name field, enter a name for your new panel. 5. Select the Create button when you are done. 6. You will now be presented with the screen that allows you to add controls to your new panel. On the top of this window, you will see the following icons. Click the plus icon to create a new panel. Click the duplicate icon to create a duplicate copy of this panel. Click the Rename icon to rename the panel. Click the Delete icon to delete the panel. 7. Now you can drag, drop, and customize the controls that you are interested in displaying on the panel from the widgets Basic, Advanced, and Commons tabs onto the blank screen. You can also customize the background with specific colors and images to truly customize the MFP panel. Click on the panel and a page window will appear, allowing you to add a background color or image. For the purposes of this demonstration, I am adding a custom background to the panel. In this demo, I am adding controls that allow the users to specify the number of copies and color options for the output. I need to add text labels next to each control and also add a submit button to the panel. Note that I can duplicate individual controls just by clicking on the plus button on the control. This is a real time saver. You can also add hidden controls to your customized panels. These will not be displayed on the control panel, but its parameters will be saved. For example, if you want to save on paper costs, you can add the Copy Duplex control to the Hidden Widget section and set the default setting as 1 to 2 sided. In this demo, all copies will be printed double sided automatically. You can also start creating a panel using an already defined template. 
In the following demonstration, I'm going to use a predefined template to create a scan to email screen. To begin, click on the plus icon and choose the scan email template. Now I can customize the scan to email panel to suit my business needs. I can remove the controls that I don't want to appear on the screen, and I can change the background and the color of the scan button to match the copy screen that I just created. Now I'm going to show you how to create a launcher screen that provides access to the copy and scan to email screens that I just created. Again, click on the plus icon and this time choose the launcher template. The first thing I will do is define this launcher panel as the home screen that appears first. I do this by clicking on the gear icon and selecting home. Next, I'll customize the background and then drag drop a link button to the screen. To customize this link button, I'll change the size, modify its label to copy, link it to the copy screen that I just created, and change its color to red to match other screens. To create another one, I can duplicate the existing button and change its label and link. And this tool also gives you the ability to test what you've created. Select the Test Mode button on the top right-hand corner of the page to see how your panels will operate. In this example, when I click on the Copy button, you see that I go directly to my copy screen. We hope you're as excited as we are about how easy it is to customize your panel using the BizHub Marketplace Chameleon feature set. Of course, if you have any questions, your Konica Minolta representative will be happy to help you. Thank you for choosing Konica Minolta.